going to be setting high fire and low fire, and we'll demonstrate how to do both of those. So when you remove the flue gas sensor, grab onto the metal portion of the sensor and gently pull it out. So then this grommet seals the flue gas temperature sensor in the vent pipe. So again, we're going to gently pull that out and remove that. We're ready to uh, unlock the controller and initiate a call for heat. So now we want to unlock the controller and you get in the technician's menu. We want to be able to control or manipulate the firing rate. So following the instructions in the manual, we simply want to press the top and the bottom arrows and hold them down for about seven seconds. And that will get us into the contractor menu. So we want to be in the diagnostics menu. We're simply going to depress the bottom button until we highlight that file. At that point, to open the file, we set and press the center button. I'm going to highlight the manual test mode file and press the center button to open the file. So if you note down here where it says force rate, the display is showing automatic or auto. We want to set that and lock it or hold it, if you will, in the high fire position. So simply by pressing the bottom arrow, I'll change that value. So I pressed it one time. It says high fire. To lock it into high fire, I'm simply going to press the center button. Insert the probe in the vent pipe and turn my meter on. So you see on the reading, my CO2 is 9.5 percent. Uh, that's in an acceptable range, uh, but it's on the high side. And so what I'm going to do is set my meter aside, and I'm going to go to the Venturi, and there's a, a slotted screw in there. If I screw it clockwise, I'm going to cut down my gas flow. I'm going to give it about a quarter turn here. That will lower my CO2. I go the other way, if I go counterclockwise, that's going to open the throttle gate and that's going to give me higher CO2. So again, I made an adjustment. We're going to check the numbers here. I went from 9.5% down to 9.1%. That's an acceptable range. All right, we've completed our high fire combustion adjustment and the next step now would be go down to low fire and take a look at our, our CO2 and our, our uh, CO down there. So again, where the force rate indication is high, we want to make that low. So I'm just simply going to press the bottom arrow, one time medium, uh, that would be 50% of rate and the next value is low fire. To load that in, again, we simply press the center button. Our goal is to have our low fire CO2 between one half and one full percent lower than your high fire CO2. I'm stabilizing out right now at 8.29 or 8.3 percent, so our low fire combustions are they have fallen in line, and they should be. You should not have to adjust the offset. So we've completed our low fire testing, and we want to set the boiler control back into the normal operational mode. And to load that back in, we simply press the center button. The word saved appears, and automatic is uh, displayed on the screen. And we're going to reset the controller back to its uh, normal operating mode. To back out, you simply press the left arrow and we've gone back into the diagnostics menu. We're in the contractor menu. If you press it again, we're in the status screen. Now we're in the uh, standby screen. Now one of the last things that we need to do is reassemble the boiler. Okay. So the first thing we would do is we're going to take the bushing and insert it into the flue pipe. So when we insert this, we want to make sure that means the fat end 
where the large end, if you will, is on top and the small end of the triangle is on the bottom. Use a little bit of liquid on there and it helps as we insert the uh, temperature sensor. The next step would be reattaching the door and putting the, the uh, knurled screws back into it.